All right, guys, so I've cut one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight sets of dovetails so far. Uh, four of them are for the piece of furniture. Uh, we're gonna do the last one together. So I practiced on this box just to kind of try and get some of the mistakes out. And then I cut two more and hopefully the one we do together will come out pretty good. All right, so first thing we're gonna do is mark these off. Um, when you do this, no pressure on the cutting edge, very light. And even after being warned by every, you, every woodworker on YouTube, I still did it wrong, so take your time. Uh, so we've got this one set for this piece of walnut, and I've got this one set for this piece of maple. I've dimensioned all this wood off camera, so put all your pressure up against this end. No pressure making the thing, just nice and light over and over again. Take your time, don't try and dig in. Again, not trying to dig it in, all the pressure is going up against this face. I think it's a rite of passage to screw it up, but maybe, maybe you won't. This piece is almost like, almost ripped on. All right, so we got both of these marked off. Now we're gonna lay out our tails. All right, I'm gonna use my ruler. I'm just gonna mark off a half inch from each side. All I'm gonna do is take my marking knife, stick it in there and make a little hole. Got one there, got one there. All right, we're gonna take our dividers and we're gonna mark off and see how this looks. I widened my pins from the last one. So if I were to do it like that, I'd only have a saw's length worth of um, room in between the pins. So I'm gonna make this a little wider. Some people like to make those pins nice and small so that they prove that they were hand cut, but I found it's nice to have them wide enough to have your chisel fit in there, which that, the, I can get it in there. So that's just easier for cleaning stuff out. So that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna start over here, put my dividers, and I'm gonna press it in. And then I'm gonna walk it over, and press it in again, and I'm not pressing it in there. Now I'm gonna start from this side, and press it in, and press it in there. Let's put our knife, our marking knife, in the hole, and then we're gonna take our square, If you really want to be technical, you can make sure that you put the curved edge of your marking knife to the waist side. Got that one done. I'm going to do this other one off camera. Is to use my, I've got this set to a one in six ratio and we're just going to mark these off. I'm going to mark my waist off. I've got my rip saw. What I want to do is I want to put my saw on the waist side and butt up to that marking line and I'm using this uh, this guide and I've found that it really helps me. Turn this around. Use my cross cut saw. And we'll 
do that four more times off camera. We use fret saw to make quicker work. of these waste. to the other one. It is chisel time. The key to chiseling is not getting too overzealous and setting yourself up for success by having a good line of sight. So I'm looking right across this chisel to make sure that I have it held vertically and have the material, never try and take too much material at once. Don't get too overzealous. So these edge pieces are the most difficult to get a good result on. And so what I've kind of developed, I don't, someone else has probably developed this before me, but what I'll do is I'll go from every side, only two taps, and then I'll use a smaller chisel and I can undercut the center. So we're gonna have, we're gonna have this material off one more time. So I've got it just like a half a millimeter away from my marking line on both sides. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just go into my marking line on this side by like two taps. You really gotta be careful. You might even wanna do this. Make sure you got it vertical. that we've got cuts on both sides. We're gonna finish. Right. I've got this line established on every side. And now, I might wanna go a little deeper on this side. But now what I'll do is I'll use a chisel that's smaller than the whole thing to take out the rest of that waste. And that way I know I'm not, cause this is gonna show, that's gonna show, and that's gonna show. That way I know that I'm not messing up any of my lines that are gonna show. I nicked it in a little bit there. And then, I want it to be undercut a little bit, so what I'm gonna do is just pare it down really carefully by hand. What we should have is a little ridge here, here, and here. And that'll make sure that that sits flush against the adjoining piece.
and then for the rest of these pins it's a little bit easier you just it's just good fundamental chiseling not taking too much material working slowly over towards your marking line and then being careful and giving it a slight undercut once you are on the marking line. These are ready. So you get this chisel right onto that marking line. A couple taps and then a slight undercut. And then I'll come back and clean out the corners after. So I got these little flappies on both sides and now with a chisel that is smaller than my material, just get it right on that marking line, really delicately and now I'm slight undercut. side and on this side that's straight across and it's a slight undercut in the middle should make for a tight fit slight depression will fill with glue okay now this side is done I'm gonna do the other side and I'm gonna do the other board off camera all right the next thing I'm just gonna do is relieve a little cut right here so that when I go to scribe it it'll lock right into the piece I'm scribing it onto for the pins the other one off camera all right so I got a little groove cut there and I'm just gonna walk this up to right here take our, uh, our one inch chisel put it right there make sure we got it flush check all these little joints here so I just hold it take my marking knife and lightly score it go light and just do multiple scores just don't try and dig in shows up so that should show up pretty good so let's label these A A so this will be our waist now we do the other side and with the right piece <laughs> otherwise you end up with a wasted piece like this. I cut this one and then I cut the pins in the wrong direction. Now 
we take our gauge that we have set for this piece and we mark these. And you don't have to mark you don't have to mark the edges for the pins. Nice and light, pressure downward. Now we just continue these lines down to our marking line. I'm gonna do that off camera because that's boring. Okay, and now we cut these tails out and leave ourselves with the pins. Being careful to start on the waist side of the line as close to that line as we can get. the chisel again. Gotta roll this blade in here because it my saw didn't quite reach.
line. So we got that. That's looking pretty good right there. So I'm gonna do the other side. All right, now this edge is looking good, but I still have to clean out the corners. And it's our uh, quarter inch chisel here to clean out these corners. That's pretty good. It's just got to clean up these corners now. All right, I have a feeling I'm going to have some issues here. So we're just going to place it and just see. It actually looks like I maybe messed up marking more than cutting. Make a couple relief cuts here. And you don't want to start all the way at the end. That's better. Um, there, it was pushing out a little crack down here. 
and it seems to have disappeared after I took some more material off. All right, so now all our drawer faces are done.